Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters. I've got a very, very interesting matchup coming out for you today. Now, we do have a player we have seen before, definitely, and a player that we have not. So, we'll start off by introducing our orange Protoss player. His name is Gung Fu Panda. Uh, you obviously know what a play on words that is. And yes, he is from Germany. He plays for the Planet Key Dynamics team. Um, no WCS record as known, but seems to be getting out there and doing a whole bunch. He's actually won a whole bunch of minor tournaments in Germany and uh, the European regions. So a couple of Munich StarCraft tournaments, a Germany Cup in there, and he won a Zotac Cup. So he's definitely at the local level seems to be doing very, very well. And up in the top left side, of course, needs no introduction. It is none other than Scarlet. Scarlet, of course, plays Zerg. She is from Canada, and she plays for Team Acer. And I believe this was taken from a Zotac Cup. So I assume the Zotac Cups are all online, because I keep seeing crazy people from all over the world joining in. And I'm, I've never really been sure of where the Zotac Cup is actually originating. I knew at some point, but then I forgot, and... Yeah, it's so hard for oh, oh, oh! Obviously, trying to block off, yeah, uh, block off the hatchery. It's just going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I mean that's a huge investment. I mean that's that's almost an expansion that Gung Fu Panda could have been getting right now. Is he going to let these go down? It looks like he is. Uh, it looks like he's going to be throwing up a cannon as well, which will definitely help prevent the Lings from doing a lot of stuff here. And Scarlet. Does not know, does not have any idea of what's going on here. She's going to find out soon enough, but this cannon and these cannons down there are going to prevent the Ling aggression from knocking this out really, really fast. So, uh, uh, Scala has some idea that she's going to be going for the spine crawler. Might be able to take this probe out. The cannon is not up yet. So, there we go. Probe goes down. Manages to build another cannon just in time, but. Oh man, oh man, this expansion is in a lot of trouble actually. There's nothing Scala can really do to defend this. She can slowly work down these pylons with the spine crawlers. And yeah, but he's even putting down another pylon over there. So once he gets these three pylons down and these two cannons, once she does, sorry, <laughs> my bad. Um, yeah, then she can start to go on the high ground, all that sort of stuff. And start to take these out but unfortunately they're not in range right now and yeah Gung Fu Panda is a very very nice play actually Scarlet cancelling this base over there just moving it straight over there so that's a very masters level play right there she knows she needs an expansion she knows this one was going to go down so why not cancel it and move on to the next play and here we go the first pylon goes down actually unpowered that cannon going to be trying to get in a good position to take out the rest of the pylons there's no pylon actually down here you can probably tell that because the uh, oh queen's getting a bit hit there, but that's fine. So you just have to play it slow and steady. Unfortunately, to uh, take out this pylon, she is going to have to get in uh, in some sort of range. Oh, it is getting hit by the cannon. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Needs to maybe burst in and just take out that cannon. I feel like this spine crawler may go down. No, the queen's healing it. What am I talking about? The queen's constantly healing it. But, yeah, Gung Fu Panda definitely on the offensive with the cannons over here, trying to shut that base down. Scarlet maybe will want to cancel it, but I don't know. It's so close to finishing. I feel like she'll just want to bust out of there and just uh, finish it off. Looks like these guys are going to be in range of this pylon. There we go, beautiful. And that is going to be all she wrote. Quite literally all she wrote for uh, the cannon of Gung Fu Panda. Although this base is up right now. And, oh man, Scarlet getting hit hard by the cheesiest of tactics. Although, I've got to say, very, very well executed for a cheesy tactic. So, that is uh, what we're we talking about. And Gung Fu Panda's got his expansion out. Got a cannon out. And, so far, looking pretty, pretty good in this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Very, very nice. So Scarlet, Scarlet may definitely lose this base. I don't think she's got the forces on the field to really deal with that. I mean, she spent a lot on the spine crawlers. <laughs> There's even a pylon down there. I don't know why that's down there, but it's going to get taken out. And yes, there we go. The expansion's going down. Scarlet is going to have to be well on her toes to make sure that uh, 
Kung Fu Panda does not try and cannon rush there again. Bunch of links coming out. They don't quite have speed and they don't quite have anything to do with the cannons, but man, Kung Fu Panda. Very, very worried about a ton of links coming in. Actually puts down a pylon over there. He's going to have to cancel it before he finishes, but it'll be nice. Just as I don't know why he did that, actually. There's a zealot already there. No, he lets it go down. I'm not sure about my math, but I'm pretty sure he's completely walled in right now. I'm pretty sure he can't get anything out, so... Yeah, getting a bunch of stalkers out will be fine, but he will have to kill his own pylon at some point. Uh, Scarlet not messing around, got the third base, managed to get up a lair, and now is spire, a spire in all that madness, so you know that she wants the, uh, the whatchamacallits. She, she wants the mutiling going on, and... Oh, a little bit too close. There we go. Backs off a little bit, but that pylon is definitely in range. And, yeah, this would be a nice place for a fourth base early on if he really, really wants it. So, there he goes. Pylon getting demolished there. And those spine crawlers have done such a good job. Let's have a look here at what uh, Gung Fu Panda is going for. He's going for a Stargate. And that's going to be interesting because it all depends on what he chooses. Void Rays are going to be pretty crap in this situation. Uh, Phoenix could be a very, very solid unit if he gets a lot of them to counter the Muters. And Oracles could be a bit of harassment, but in the end, Muters are going to shut them down pretty quickly. So, yeah, it's, it all comes down. I think Phoenix could be an excellent play right now from Gung Fu Panda, but I'm not sure if he knows what's on the field, what's waiting for him. He will know in half a second, though, when the Muters come out. Here comes the Hallucinated Phoenix, going to skip all the Muters. Very, very early muters coming out, and we know that Scarlet likes to get those muters into play as soon as possible. The cannons are going to protect this area, but there's no cannons protecting the workers, and that is going to be all sorts of fun. So here we go, and one sentry is going to get owned. They don't do a lot of damage, actually, just three muters, but yeah, they do, they do enough, and here we go. First Phoenix coming out, second Phoenix being built. Very, very nice from Gung Fu Panda going for the Phoenix, and... This is going to be quite helpful because Muta versus Phoenix, I mean, the Mutas definitely do not have an advantage right there. I think, if anything, they have a disadvantage. The only disadvantage they could possibly have is through numbers. But they got a range disadvantage, they got a speed disadvantage. It sucks. It really does suck. And the Phoenix, properly microed, can wipe out the Mutas without taking any damage at all. There we go. The Mutas being taken down, and Scarlet is going to have to be very, very careful from now on because... Those muters flying around by themselves can get picked off so easily by the phoenix. There we go. Queen going to be helping out a little bit, but the muters are there, and the muters are actually on the defensive. We barely ever see muters being on the defensive, but we're seeing it right here. Manages to snipe one of the phoenix, and here we go. The first of many corruptors is coming out, and Gung Fu Panda is suddenly like, well, that's screwed the whole thing up now because... Of course, Phoenix are a useless unit against Corruptors. They just get owned so fast, it's not even funny. And with additional Corruptors coming out, Scarlet should be able to put a lot of pressure on the Phoenix. Maybe even just discourage Gung Fu Panda from actually building any fe more Phoenix at all. Which, uh, she hasn't done yet. He's still continuing to build them. But he is actually building Void Rays as well. That's interesting. So, he's going for Phoenix and Void Ray versus Scarlet's, uh... Versus Scarlet's Muta Corruptor. And... That's going to be good, because the Void Rays shred the Corruptors, but the Muters do a pretty good job versus the Void Rays. I feel like, overall, Gung Fu Panda has a better composition, in that they're just better at taking out Zerg units than the Zerg units are at taking out the Protoss units, but numbers, the numbers game, I feel like, will favour Scarlet quite heavily, so I really can't say who's going to win this battle. I mean, you've got the more effective units on the Protoss side, but you've just got more units on the Zerg side. And Scarlet has fully mining off three bases since she's going for a four, so I feel like she's going to be quite fine here. We do have one Void Ray, six Phoenix versus ten Corruptors and two Muters. I don't know if she's going to keep... Looks like she's going to keep producing the Muters. Does she have upgrades on these guys? She does have one attack, getting one armor as well. Very, very nice. She realizes she's against Zerg Air, so one armor, definitely a good choice. Uh, Gung Fu Panda, not going for any air upgrades. And that is definitely going to be a contributing factor as well. We'll see uh, We'll see how badly that affects him. He hasn't got a ton of Void Rays out. He's got two. And considering that Scala has ten, that's right, ten Corruptors, they are going to do so much damage to these Phoenix. But there is a sizable ground army, including a bunch of Stalkers. And Scala, I don't know if she's prepared for the ground army. 
Just prepared for the air army, but the ground army could be a completely different matter entirely. A bunch of zealots taking care of the taking care of all of the zerglings, and now the grand army is free to go. There's a whole bunch of stalkers down there, and Scarlet Man, she is not prepared for a bunch of stalkers, I feel like. She may go down here because, yeah, she's just not prepared for stalkers, man. She can get out a million lings, and maybe that will help, but then again, that's a very scary amount of, uh, very scary amount of stalkers. But even pulling workers off the line, this is when you know that shit is scary. She's doing a fantastic job of uh, putting the green crap on the uh, on the stalkers from the corruptors so doing a very very good job and they are starting to go down the lings are making quite a good play against these guys Muta's taking quite a lot of damage but the lings are evening it up and eventually the stalker army does go down so some clutch ling production from uh, Scarlet as well as the readiness to put her uh, put her mutas into the line of fire of the stalkers as uh, just it's just done a fantastic job and the corruptors just putting the poison, uh, a poison ability, whatever the hell it's called, on the stalkers, just helped every single bit. So that is it, man. Doing all of that stuff, you you don't have to do it, but when you do it, it just works together so well. And that is why Scarlet won the game because I don't know, man. That many stalkers, that was scary. And Scarlet taking them all out with Muta Ling, without that many Lings, is quite impressive. But there we go. That has been your daily masters for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. It's um, oh, it's gonna be Christmas Day tomorrow. Yeah, so we're gonna have to gonna have to grab a very very special game for Christmas Day, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So thank you very much for watching this game. Stay tuned. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.